All right, hello everybody. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, we're gonna be doing a hit style workout today and you only need one piece of equipment. So what is that one piece of equipment? A milk jug, all right? So you can just use an old milk jug, fill it with water. I actually just bought distilled water because I needed some. Um, but this weighs approximately eight, eight and a half pounds. So we're gonna be using this as our weight today. Everyone has a milk jug. Anyone can do this workout. You really don't need anything else except for a chair. Um, so as long as you've got those two things, you'll be great. Also, um, I'm already sweaty. I recorded this video once and it didn't record. So yeah, trying a new video recorder. So if I can do this workout twice, you can for sure do it once, all right? So I've got my timer. We're doing a HIIT style workout, which means high intensity interval training. These are the style workouts that um, I've gotten a lot of results with. Basically, you go really hard for a certain amount of time and then you get rest. And you go really hard again and you get rest. So we're doing 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest today. So I'm gonna start my timer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Our first move, okay, crisscross jacks, okay? So what we're doing is crisscrossing our feet, okay? We're just holding the milk jug, this is a great one um, to get your heart rate going, or in my case, to keep your heart rate going, considering the fact that I already did this workout twice. So we've got eight moves. We're going to do them twice, okay? So it'll be 16 minutes total. We've got 25 seconds left on this round. I promise you, this is one of the harder moves because it's in the beginning and your heart rate's not adjusted yet. So. 10 seconds to go. You guys are doing great. Three, two, one, and good. All right, next move, squat and press. Okay, so what are we gonna be doing here? Feet, shoulder width apart, squat, okay, and press up. Feet together, squat, press. All right, we're just gonna be walking side to side, so feet together, feet apart, squat, press. Together, apart, squat, press. When you're doing this, it's really important that you make sure your butt is going back, okay? Pretend like you're sitting on a chair. You also wanna see your back flat, okay? So none of this, I wanna see this. 10 seconds to go. I'm just ad-libbing. Apparently I can't talk and do the move at the same time. And good. All right, next up, lunge and twist, okay? So we're gonna do a basic lunge, all right? And we're going to twist from side to side, okay, and then back up. Now we're twisting. I want to see you twist your whole entire body. Now, what does that mean? It means I don't just want to see your arms moving. This is what it would look like when your arms moving. I want to see your whole body turn. Okay. And again, when you're doing these, make sure that you step far enough out. Okay, so you've got a nice right angle here. Mine could even be a little further. Okay, you don't want it to look like this. Okay, where you've got an angle that is more acute. Right. So, time to go. I'm already breathing heavy. I don't know about you. And good. All right. So, next up, knee drives. This is a hard one. Feel free to drop the weight at any point. Okay. So, start with it up here. Okay. One foot forward, one foot back, and we're gonna drive our knee up. We do eight. Five, six, seven, eight, and switch sides. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an arm killer. So if you need to, drop the weight. But do as many as you can before you drop that weight, okay? 15 seconds to go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, two more. Ready? One, two. I'll give you a little bit more of a 10 second, then a 10 second break here. All right, you'll need your chair. So grab a chair if you don't have it already. You use a footstool, step stool, anything you can stand on. So we're gonna be stepping up with one leg. So we're gonna do the right leg right now. All right, stepping up with the right leg. Again, if this is too hard for you, drop the weight, okay? I've been doing these moves for a long time with weight. <laughs> All right, so I might, be, might make them look a little easier. Switch to your left leg than they actually are. Now, they're not easy. I'm dying over here. As you can tell by my breathing, I'm not even gonna sweat. <laughs> Couldn't turn the air conditioning on because you wouldn't be able to hear me then. So, doing this in my hot, gross apartment. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. All right, awesome job, guys. We're gonna do sumo squat. I don't know why they call it sumo squat. I get these moves from other videos. Sumo squat makes me think of this, which is actually a plie squat. Sumo squat, at least in the videos I watch, feet together, then you sit back again. All right, and then we're gonna bring our leg out. Now, when you're bringing your leg out, I don't wanna see any of this. You're not kicking. Okay, your body should be straight up and down, and that's gonna allow you to work this side of your thigh and your butt, okay? 20 seconds, again, when you go down, sit back, okay? Don't worry about your foot here, do whatever's natural. You're not kicking, so no need to turn your foot. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, awesome. Next up, touchdowns. You may have seen these with my ball, my medicine ball. Ready? All right, so we're going to lift our feet off the ground, okay? Now, this is the advanced version. You need to tap one leg down or both legs down. That's fine, but you're not resting all of your weight on there, okay? Now, when we're doing these, I want you to twist your body. Again, you're not going to get abs <laughs> by just moving your arms, okay? So, if I'm just moving my arms, this is what it looks like, right? I want to be twisting my entire body, okay? Um, you're not setting the milk jug on the ground. Just tap it, and then make sure that your back is flat. So, none of this saggy. I want to see your back straight, okay? Think about putting your boobs to the sky. Three, two, one. Awesome job. I'm going to get a paper towel. Or a towel, I should say. I'm dying. Note to self, don't record a video and lose it. All right, superwomans. So, we're going to go off for five seconds, and then I'll give you a rest. So, one, two, three, four, five. And down, up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. If it's too hard, drop the weight, okay? If you want it more challenging, put the weight out here, okay? You're squeezing your butt and your back and down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, and down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, and down. Last one, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Awesome job. Guys, that was all of the moves. All eight of them. I'm going to pause this timer for a second. Grab my towel because I'm dying. And I'm sweaty. Okay. You guys can do this. That was eight moves. Okay. We're going to repeat those again. All right. Now, don't give up on me here. You can do them. I want you to finish this because I know you can. Even if you're not doing it with the weight the second round, I don't care. You're going to finish this, okay? Because you're going to be so proud of yourself once you do. So I promise you the second round goes much faster than the first round, okay? It'll go by quicker. So get ready, all right? We're starting, okay? You know the drill. 
can unfreeze my screen. <laughs> All right, cross jacks. Okay, heart rate. It's really important to get your heart rate back up. Okay, and when you're doing strength exercises and cardio exercises together, you burn a lot more calories. Okay, it's especially important to get your heart rate up as well. Okay, none of this. I'm gonna go on the elliptical for 30 minutes. No. Okay, unless you're doing intervals, you're not getting that heart rate up. It's staying the same. All right, you gotta shock your system. 10 seconds to go, you guys can do it. Again, if you need to, drop the weight. But I want you to go as long as you can without dropping it. Okay, and good. All right, next up, squat and press. All right, legs apart, squat, press, legs together. Legs apart, squat, press, legs together. Legs apart, squat, press, legs together. Okay, now when you're squatting, again, sit back on your heels. If you're feeling most of the pressure on the front of your foot, okay, like by your toes, you are doing it wrong. You should feel most of the pressure on your heels. 15 seconds to go, okay? Easiest way to do that is make sure you are sitting back, okay? Don't lean forward. Four, three, two. All right, I'll give you the last couple. All right, next up, lunge and twist. Got my trusty notepad there with my List of exercises, you know the drill. Lunge, twist that whole body, okay, bring it back up. If you're in a really large area, feel free to do these as walking lunges, okay? We are walking and doing lunge after lunge, okay? But because most of us are in the living room, we'll just do these. They work just as well, a little bit different muscles, but definitely still worthwhile. We have 20 seconds. You guys are awesome. I don't know about you. I'm starting to get really sweaty. I was sweaty when we began. You guys get to see me at my finest here. Four, three, two, and one. All right, good job. The dreaded knee drives. Okay, I love these because they're hard. Okay, but I also hate them because they're hard. All right, look that up, ready? If this is too heavy, drop the weight. You'll still get plenty of cardio benefits. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My arms are dying. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys are rock stars. All right, step up. Get your chair. All right. I got my trusty chair. Step up, right leg first, or whatever leg you would like. Again, if this is too hard, drop the weight. If it's too easy, add a lunge. So is this working our balance? Really important to work stabilizing muscles as well. All right, switch legs. Honestly, personal opinion, I think that's why we have so many ACL tears, because we're not working those stabilizing muscles as much. I don't have a ton of scientific evidence to back that up, but personal theory. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Do a squat. We're nearing the end. Three more minutes. Three moves. You guys can do this. All right. 
squeeze your butt on the way up, okay? So work your obliques, which are the sides of your abs right here, okay? And the side of your butt and your thighs, okay? As well as working your quads, because we're squatting. We'll sit back nice and low. Awesome job, guys. 20 to go. And then I promise I'll let you sit on the ground for touchdowns. It's the little things, right? 10, five, finish it out. And good. All right, touchdowns to the floor. Two, one. All right, turning your whole body here. Legs up if you can, okay? Whenever I do ab exercises, I always think about what makes my abs hurt the most, and I do that. Because the ab exercises are tricky, okay? A lot of different placement of your back, of your legs, all right? So if you're leaning back and you're like, whoa, I really don't feel this in my abs, try sitting up a little more, okay? Adjust your position so that you feel it in your abs, because ultimately, you want your abs to get stronger, you're gonna to need to work them, right? Well, we have 10 seconds left. You guys are doing great. If your arms are sore, sorry, this one's a killer if your arms are already dead. Two, one, good. Last exercise, all right? We're going up for five seconds. We'll give you a rest. We'll do it again. Again, if this is too hard for you, drop the weight. Or if you can do two seconds, do two seconds. If you can go longer, go longer, okay? Down, up, one, two, three, four, five. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five. Down, if this is too easy, you can also Hold it out further. You can tell that's really hard for me. Four, five, down, up, one, two, three, four, five, down, last one, one, two, three, four, five. We did it! Awesome job, guys. I don't know about you, but I am a sweaty, disgusting mess. But I'm so happy that you guys worked out with me today. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you like more or if you want more videos like this, just comment below. Tell me what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of. Um, and be sure to share this video with your friends. Thanks. Have a great day.